What's up, people? Uh, another video here from Steve Rowe. Uh, this is an unexpected video. I uh, just thought I'd might as well make a video, see what uh, you know, something to do, and uh, see this would be the easiest way to record the progress, hopefully, or record the proof of death. <laughs> hopefully not. But anyway, I got uh, three corals last this morning. I got a call last night saying, "Hey, can you?" Uh, take care of a few of my corals while I upgrade tanks and I'm like okay uh, haven't really done this much for people but I'm always willing to help so I said sure let me uh, see what I can do so one thing I didn't realize when I got the corals is that they are in pretty bad condition if you see they are very browned out you see some STN going on at the bottom of this one and at the bottom of this one um, it's three of them actually they're all brown this one here is probably the worst. Um, can't really get a good picture, but I mean, if you can see that from there, it looks pretty bad. Uh, you got STN all around that thing; it's just peeling off um, throughout. Hopefully, uh, we can save it. If not, you know, I tried my best, but there's at this point, I'm not sure there's much to do. Throw them in and hope for the best they could recover worst case scenario which is what I've done in the past is you frag a piece at the tip hopefully that can save the a piece of it at least but you know we'll see how it goes my tank is doing a lot better I uh, had a lot of um, alkalinity swings and just a big mess going on and I lost a few corals I think I said that on my last video but since before the last video or since the last video all of my corals have turned around um, I've gotten gotten a, lot, gotten a few more corals and I've made a lot of changes especially to the sump the sump is no longer under the uh, <clears throat> the sump is no longer under the display it is now in the garage and it's plumped through the house up to the first floor technically second floor um, so what we're gonna do here is we're gonna dip these corals because you always dip corals always dip your corals never take a chance you don't want to introduce anything into your tank even if you're trying to help but um, so I'm gonna dip these corals and what I dip is Bayer um, if you have any questions about that let me know otherwise you can just google it yourself this is the one to use Bayer Advanced Complete Insect Killer this will prevent red bugs, kill red bugs, um, and a bunch of other crap. I don't want to name it. Google it yourself or ask me. Maybe I'll do a video on just dipping, but always dip your corals. Always dip your corals. Always quarantine your fish. So I'm going to make a solution. Um, don't know exactly how much uh, I'm going to do here. I am um, trying to do some little math, and we'll be back. Alright, so while we wait, um, Bear is white. I just wanted to say a few things. It does come out white. Um, it will leave your examples. It will leave your solution this milky color. Um, luckily, I have access to syringes. Um, if you want to do it, I would say uh, when you get frags, a good example is you want to go 10 cc's for every uh, 4 ounces of water. Um, best way I do it is you get your coral, you get uh, disposable cups, I always use disposable cups. Fill that up with your tank water with uh, 4 ounces or half a cup of your tank water. Put, place your coral in there shoot it with 10 cc's or uh, I'm used to saying cc's 10 milliliters 10 ml which is the same thing as a cc um, of bear you want to do that let it sit for five minutes um, one, one thing is be very careful with this stuff it is very toxic very toxic you do not want to breathe it in you do not want to touch it with your hands and you don't want to touch anything with it 
Um, I do it here on my coffee table. Um, you've been warned. Um, I've spilled it on clothes, on the carpet. And um, actually, I don't remember what happened to that. But you do not want to touch it. You do not want to breathe it in. It is a insect killer. It is nothing but chemicals. You do not want to mess with this stuff. Wear gloves and use separate tongs than the tongs that you use for your fish tank to touch the corals. Don't reach your hand in there and, and pick it up. Uh, use tongs. Once you pass five minutes, you want to remove the coral with uh, some tongs or something. Or if you're wearing gloves, and that's fine, I guess. Um, you want to place it in a fresh cup of uh, tank water. Give it a rinse in there. And um, I think you're pretty much good to go. Uh, make sure you give it a good rinse. Don't let this stuff get inside your tank. It is not recommended to do a, I've never seen at least, I'm sure people have, but I haven't seen people use this for uh, treatment of a whole tank. Just uh, dipping prior to placing your cores in your tank. But always dip. So anyway, let's see, uh, let's continue. Okay, so now that the coral has been dipped and removed from the uh, the cup, you're gonna see uh, everything that fell off. I mean, this I don't know. You can't really see. It. Sadly, there was a uh, an acro crab in there. There was an acro crab in there that died. There was a bunch of uh, pods. Um, nothing really that I see. I still like to keep this and go through it with a magnifying glass to see if there was anything in it. Um, and the way I see it is if there's something still in this cup that's moving, odds are any parasite or disease will still be moving as well on the coral. So you obviously didn't dip long enough. So I always make sure everything is dead. Sadly, the acro crab died too. Acro crab is one of those little crabs that like to live inside the uh, Acropora colonies. Um, its death is uh, a price I will pay. But anyways, you see all the stuff that fell off. It's a lot. And uh, I'm glad because this is all stuff that would be in your tank. Good or bad. Um, you know, if you have a pot, uh, population in there, it will replenish itself. But uh, there it is. Okay, so here are the uh, corals post dipping. They are in a container for uh, where they're ri they're rinsing off. The water looks a little cloudy, so I might uh, fill up another container to rinse them again. Um, again, all these containers I use are for fish only or uh, the reef only. They're not used for the kitchen, so I'm not contaminating any of uh, my dishes with this stuff. So anyway, um, now we're gonna put them in the tank, and we'll see. Um, Look for a good place for them. Uh, again, I use LEDs and my friend uses T5, so uh, the difference in lighting can be uh, can be stressful as well. So we're going to put them low in the tank, maybe find somewhere to put them, and um, maybe we just put them on the sand bed for now and then move them up slowly. So we'll see how they do. Let's find a place. All right, so now you see the corals are in the tank. This is one of them. has a slightly green color to it. A lot of brown, so we'll see what kind of uh, color that comes out to be. Here's uh, another coral I put down here in the sand bed. This one is um, it's pretty brown, tips appear white, but uh, might have a kind of a bluish color when it uh, colors up. We'll see how it does. And here's the third one. This one appears to be uh, out the way. This one appears to have some purple. It's supposed to be a little purple, it looks like it. Uh, Let's we'll see how that one does when it colors up. So hopefully they do well. Done a lot of changes to the tank, but I'll explain that another time. Remove the uh, green's bird's nest that took over this whole area while shading all the corals under it. So, got rid of that. Some things are just growing like crazy. Let's 
So, oh, and also there was a, a big red cap here that I moved because it was shading all the corals under here. Some stuff I just moved around. That thing used to be over here. Uh, that little piece is new. A lot of little new little pieces. This one here is not the red dragon. The red dragon was here. I moved it over here. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of red where it's at there. It's gone into a nice piece, turned into a nice piece. Okay, I really can't see it. But anyway, found a similar one like it. It's more pink than anything. But anyway, I'll show you my tank next time. Miami Orchid has taken off. But um, I'll show you my tank on the next video. And uh, hopefully these two, three corals color up and do well. So, until next time, I'm out.